My name is Donna Washington, and this is a story that I learned a long time ago, back when I was in high school, and I love it. It's called Brumuski. You see, once there was a tailor, and he was married to a very nice woman, and they had a little daughter, and they lived in a town, a very nice town. People were nice, his wife was nice, his daughter was nice. But the tailor did not appreciate any of it. You see, he was in love with this town that was down the way. It was called Rumuski. And he talked about Rumuski all the time. He would say, our streets here, they're not so good. But the streets in Rumuski, oh my goodness, they are the best streets in the world. They're smooth, they're paved, not cobbled like our streets. And these houses, our houses, oh, they're all right. But the ones in Rumuski are grander. The ones in Rumuski are more brilliant. They're painted better colors. The women here, the women are okay, but the women in Ramuski, oh my goodness. His wife didn't particularly like that. Oh, he talked about Ramuski all the time. Our food, our food is all right, but the food in Ramuski, oh, it's just to die for. Here's the thing. He had never been to Ramuski. He'd never been down the road to go and visit it, but he talked about it all the time as if he had been there and as if it was magnificent. Years passed with him talking and talking. And, and then whenever someone said, well, if you like it so much, why don't you go to Ramuski? He said, someday, someday I will go, but I'm busy today. Well, finally, one day his wife got tired of it. She said, you know what? Tomorrow you should go to Ramuski and see it for yourself. And then when you come back, if you still have such stories, then we will listen to you. But from here on out, I'm not listening until you actually go to Ramuski. He said, well, fine, it's the day I'm going. And so when he got up in the morning, his wife had packed him some lunch. She gave it to him and she said, shoot, go to Ramuski. And inwardly she thought, and may you never come back if this is how you're going to be. But she didn't say that out loud because, you know, you get mad at people and you say things. But she didn't say it. She let him go. And she breathed a sigh of relief. Well, he went down the road in a great mood. He was eating his cheese and bread his wife had packed for him. And he got about halfway there and he was exhausted. Now he thought to himself, I should take a little nap so I'll be rested for when I get to Rumuski. But he looked down the road the way he was going and he looked down the road the way he'd come and they looked exactly the same to him. And he thought, how will I remember which way I was heading if I take a nap? And then he got an idea. He said, ah, I know what I will do. I will take off my boots. I will point my toes towards Romuski. And when I get up, I will know which way I'm supposed to go. So that's what he did. He took his boots off. He put them on the road, pointing towards Romuski. And then he lay down in the grass and he fell asleep. Well, as he was sleeping, a thief came by an honorable profession. People have been doing it for generations. And he came by and he saw the shoes and he thought, oh, new shoes. Ha <laughs> ha. And he picked them up and he looked at them and he thought, these shoes are worse than mine. Look, the leather is all cracked. He turned them upside down. There are holes in these shoes bigger than mine. Oh, why would I steal these shoes? Eh. And he put them back down. But he put them back down with the toes pointing back the way the tailor had come. And so he left and the tailor woke up about an hour later, refreshed and ready to go. He yawned. And he looked at his shoes. Ah, 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 he said, it's a good thing I put my toes down the way I needed to go because otherwise I would forget. And he put his shoes back on and he headed down the road. Well, his wife was in the kitchen and she looked out the window and there he was coming back. He hadn't even been gone for half the day. She said, you're back. And he went back back. How is this possible? He's looking around. These houses don't look better than, than the ones in my village. They look very much the same. And these streets, oh, they're paved just like the streets from my village. They look very much the same. His wife said, back, are you back? I'm asking if you're back. And he looked up and he said, ha, huh, that could be my house. And that woman yelling at me, she could be my wife. And then his daughter looked down and said, papa. He said, that could be my daughter. And then he knew what had happened. There was a man just like him who lived in Rumuski, who had gone to his house probably. And now he was at that man's house. Well, he thought, won't he be surprised when he comes home to find me here? 
I will wait for him because clearly we passed each other on the road. <laughs> I don't want that to happen again. And so he moved back into this man's house and, and he stayed with this man's wife and raised that man's daughter. And, and all of his life he was pleased because, well, Ramuski was just like being at home. And that's the story of Ramuski.